How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be using my new class setup here for the M82 sniper rifle here in Black Ops Cold War. So I was given an eight attachment class setup for the M82 by a subscriber. And basically you guys know how I am. I kind of like to run perk grade. So I took off some of the attachments, adjusted the class setup a little bit, but I just wanted to put out there that this class setup was kind of adjusted from a subscriber. Let's get into it here. Starting, we don't have an optic or a muzzle. That's two things they did have there for me. They had the stabilizer. They also had the thermal sight. I'm not a huge fan of that thermal optic. So we're jumping right down to the barrel where we have the tiger team. That gives us 20% damage, 31% fire rate, and 20% to the bullet velocity. Now, this is the most important attachment of the build. It gives us that added damage that makes the one shot potential much higher. Getting down to the underbarrel, they have the bipod. Now, I did keep this one. I do think you could go with the normal front grip here or even maybe one of the movement underbarrels. But for the authenticity of the build, I did really like using the bipod here. We have 20% vertical and 20% horizontal recoil control. Now, you may be asking, what is there really for recoil control with a sniper rifle, especially with a semi-automatic? When you're sort of spamming that trigger, it does like to recenter itself. And that's what the bipod's doing there. So let's get on to the next attachment where we're going with the seven round mag. Now, I don't want to sacrifice any more aim down sight speed than necessary. So you can go with the fast mag or the seven round here, but I would not recommend changing any of those as your aim down sight speed will be even slower. And as I'm sure you know, this is one of the slower ADS snipers in the game. Getting down to the handle, we have the serpent wrap, most amount of aim down sight speed. I don't feel like I need to talk about all too much there. Then finishing off the build with the CQB pad for sprint to fire speed added to the weapon at 30%. I did end up getting a nuke with this weapon, and believe it or not, it's not one that I'm extremely good with, but overall, it's one of my higher KD snipers. I don't exactly know why that is, but I think it's because it forces me to slow down my pace. I can't run around like I can with a Tundra, a Pellington, or a Swiss, and I guess have more opportunities to die. It's definitely a slower pace sniper rifle, but would love to hear your opinion of the class setup down in the comment section. But without further ado, let's jump into a gameplay. You guys can see what it's all about. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so I'm going with an M82 or AKA a Barrett. It's been a long time since I've actually posted it's been like three months, actually. Domination. And so many of you know that it's not my favorite sniper. But I also think it's a very viable sniper. That being said. I do have. We're in the lead. I don't know how that's not hitting. I do have a hand cannon on if I get in a pinch or my team's not performing well which it's looking like that right now. We're losing the advantage. So I may need to, uh, because I can't move up the map. Dude, I'm not hitting shots. I don't know what's going on. I just had a great game. I didn't get anything impressive, but I'm going to start pushing up a bit. So I'm getting impatient with my own play. I'm missing easy, easy, easy shots. Now the next problem is I'm running out of ammo here. Yeah, I have five bullets. It's a collapse. Take that. I'm probably gonna have to hit the hand cannon here. Not because I want to, but because when you don't have ammo, it does become. Oh, we might have gotten some. Nope, we didn't. We did not get ammo. And I missed my shots. So I gotta, number one, unlock the hand cannon here. Or pick up a weapon. Alright, we got ammo. Losing B. Not much, but enough. Taking C. This guy's got marshals. I'm only on a 10. I really am missing some pretty easy shots. I don't know what's wrong with me today. All right, we're starting to hit him. Starting. Taking 
What the fuck? All right, we're going to hit this. Techcom, get a straight front inbound. They're gone. I missed. We're not reaching out on that. I'm not going to speed up my play. Cause that would just be a risky move on my part. I'm gonna hold this harp for now. I'm gonna put this down. We got a spy plane up. That's huge. So it means I really don't need. Securing C. Well, that smoke becomes a bit concerning because I can't see anything. Got one. Oh, okay, that was a gas. I'll take that. That's my squad. <laughs> Got another. We do have that harp for next round. Losing B. Little headshot. Securing Charlie. All right, so we are flawless so far. I'm playing a little slow, but I'm gonna get that new and try to speed it up. I'm not gonna peek the, what's it called? The the little lane by greenhouse there, because that Security is a objective. death sentence. We're gonna go this way. Harp overflight. Look at B. Then we go with this. There's behind us. There it is. They're not moving. Okay. Everybody's probably leaving the game now. Ow. Oh, you have marshals. That right there was what I was trying to say about marshals. They're not as good as everybody thinks they really are. Enemy casualty. Rolling in for final attack. Taking A. Okay, you know what? You're running marshals, you can hold a nuke for me. How about that? So, 59 and 2. I think people left the game. That's why there was AFKs. Moving with hand cannon. Wait a minute. Missed my shot. Field mic activated. Securing Alpha. Oh, 
Not a, that kid was about to get a four piece, yo. Oh, uh, that would have been funny, actually. Oh, I no scoped him. talk about it don't want to talk about it didn't happen okay it might have happened Another one. Let's hit it. Zed dead. All locations locked down. Dig in and hold them. Losing me. Every ninety four two man. Double new M eighty two. Savers is if you guys enjoyed the video, if you could make sure you hit that like button for me, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.